Mau sadap aku ya? <tuk> Apa nih? Gua capek ya bubis My bubis? It's okay, my bubis sama selling point <tuk> Is it okay? It's great Let's, We have to speak like this I like this You said gini? Tadi di cut berarti ya? Oh, keep rolling, keep rolling ya. And I like candid shit. <laughs> my real name is uh, my my full name is Joko Anwar. I was born in Medan, Medan North Sumatra. Yeah, now I'm comfy. That's a, my ethnicity is a bit complicated because I thought I was uh, Batanese and Javanese, but actually I'm Javanese Chinese. I prefer Chinese, because they better with money. Cemana? Tak tak tahu aku apa maksudnya itu. Agak agak susah. Tuh yang besi lima. Taruh, taruh lu besi lima pea ni. Kan cemkima. Oh my orang tua. Jesus, this kind of embarrassing. It's okay, I I have nothing to hide. My father works. My father worked in a workshop. It's a mesin bubut operator. Mesin bubut is uh, a machine where you shape up metals. And my mom, uh, she worked, she sold fabrics. SD di SD Negeri Impres nomor 06823 step 100, pagi kadang-kadang sore. Tergantung gurunya, karena gurunya cuma satu orang. Uh, jadi SD dari mulai kelas 1 sampai kelas 6 SD itu, guru aku cuma satu dan dia guru matematika, namanya Pak Saragi. Sehingga, uh, I was very good at math, but I was not very good at anything else. SMP Negeri 13 Medan. SMA, kelas 1 dan kelas 2, I was in SMA 1 Medan. But kelas 3, I got a scholarship to uh, West Virginia. Uh, I went to, they said the best uh, college in Indonesia at the time, I don't know now. Uh, ITB, Institut Teknologi Bandung. I was actually wanting to go to film school because I always wanted to be a filmmaker and I asked my mom if uh, they could afford me going to film school which was at the time only IKJ because it was very expensive for my mom at the time so I decided to enroll uh, at the school ITB because they said they have this uh, film club for students if you enroll in a school you can join the, the club and you can learn how to do films to make films using cameras and blah 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 but it turns it turned out that when i went to the school i was not accepted in the club so i spent my time my college years uh, uh, playing in a band um, writing for newspapers and magazines. Mr. Saragi, Pak Saragi. He taught me a lot about math and how to deal with people. I don't know why, because uh, during the during the breaks, he would ask me to join him eating, uh, maybe because I could not afford my own uh, lunch, so uh, he bought me lunch and we ate together and he would speak about many things about life. <laughs> my childhood <laughs> idol. Yes, yes, I do. Uh, Barry Prima. I actually cast him uh, in my first film, uh, Johnny's Promise or Johnny Johnny, uh, as the uh, taxi driver. But uh, I put his name was still Jaka S, which is Jaka Sembung, which was his biggest character at the time. I, I guess I was a loner when I was a child because I did not fit in for some reason. Uh, um, the part where my neighborhood uh, was actually quite slummy. So I did not fit in because not too many kids want to play with me. Uh, even as a kid, I was very adventurous. Uh, when everybody left for um, work, so for school, I would uh, ride my bicycle and I would try to find my own food because nobody cooked for me. So I remember uh, there was a period in my childhood where I always ate uh, eels because I caught them my, by myself in the sawah, in the paddy field. I would go to many places uh, uh, riding my bicycle. I actually got hit by uh, once by motorcycle and it was very bad. 
I was unscathed. And once I was, I was hit by, uh, by a car, and it was actually, I don't know, I was also unscathed. And another one with uh, Vespa, a Vespa. And it was also very bad. But that three times I got hit, I was left unscathed. And since that time, I developed this belief that I actually have died several times. And I, at a time, developed this belief that if someone died, they would, they would not realize that they are dead because they would continue living in another dimension. That was crazy. <laughs> Satomi Hakenden. It's uh, a martial art film uh, directed by um, uh, Kinji Fukasaku. I found that film uh, by accident. Other people had the VHS player uh, long, long, long before we had. So my mom saved her money and finally she bought a VHS player for me. There was this rental place. I still remember this place. My favorite place in this whole world before uh, VHS uh, are gone was VHS video store because every time I walked into the, the store I can smell the, the tapes, I can smell the specific order of the tapes and the plastic of the VHS and it really gave me something that I think very very unforgettable and they usually uh, have uh, VHS tapes were actually damaged. And they just have this big piles of VHS tapes lying around and I dug up a little bit. And I saw this movie, Satomi Hakenden, Legend of Ed Samurai, but the middle part of it was damaged. It turned out that the tape was put upside down because of some, because of some mechanical failure. So I, you know, open up the, the VHS tapes and I, I make it right. And I can, I, then I could see the, the, the middle part of it, which is actually like the best part of it. I wanted to be an actor. First day of school, my brother uh, supposed to pick me up from school and in front of the class, he was waiting like at the door. And my teacher asked all the students what they wanted to be. And everybody said, you know, uh, by default, kids would say they wanted to be uh, an architect, a doctor, but only me said, I want to be a film star. And everybody was just laughing at me because my teacher was laughing at me and my brother was laughing at me. And um, when I uh, was out of the classroom, my brother said, I still remember what he said. He said, it's impossible for you to be an actor or film star because you're not handsome. And I was crying, I was running to, 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 to my house and my mom was uh, cooking. I, was, I still remember what she was cooking. She was cooking terong, eggplant. And I said, mom, 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 um, but brother said that I could not be an actor because I'm not handsome. By logic, a mom would say, you are handsome, you know, but my mom did, did not say so. She, she said, yeah, but you're not ugly either. That was. A, a very important point of my life where everything was put into perspective. As a kid, you not you no longer uh, into fantasy. You into real stuff. <laughs> yeah, from that moment on, I I I tried to find something else that I wanted to be. But be, because as a kid, I did not know that a movie uh, got crew, got uh, got film crew, got uh, director, writer, or everybody else in the production. I thought all movies were made in Indonesia. So if you want to make a Western film, Indonesian people have to be able to speak Western, you know, English and stuff. When, once I know that film got some people to make it, I want to be that, that maker. So I, I always wanted to be a, a filmmaker. Uh, as far as I could remember, uh, once I knew that a film got made. No. <laughs> and yes. <laughs> No, why? Because uh, I thought that all the worst thing that could happen to a child happened to me. 
but somehow it helped my my profession now uh, because I write stories and uh, if you want to write stories you got to come up with interesting characters and interesting characters are characters who can um, emote real emotion so every time I need an emotion for my character I just uh, take it from my library of emotion which I collected since I was a kid and I just uh, give it to my uh, characters yeah